Got another set of past exam questions here for Year 12 ACID. So the um, link to the questions is in the description of the video. So download the questions, have a go, and then watch the video for the answers. So first part, moles of sulfuric acid used to just neutralise the sodium hydroxide. So we're using the result from the second titration, the one I've highlighted there. So moles is concentration times volume. Concentration of the acid is 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. And the volume in decimeters cubed is 0.018. So that's 1.80 times 10 to the minus 3. The concentration of the sodium hydroxide, so if we apply the mole ratio to get the moles of sodium hydroxide first of all, that are in the 25 cm cubed. So moles of NaOH is going to be 2 times 1.8 times 10 to the minus 3. So that's 3.60 times 10 to the minus 3. So the concentration is those moles over the volume they're in, which was 25 cm cubed. 3.60 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0.025 and that comes out at 0 0.144. Part B, we've got to calculate the moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate in the full 200 cm cubed of the solution X. So if we go back to those results, the difference between these two titration values is going to be the amount of sulfuric acid that's neutralizing just the sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the first titration, 29.50, is for sodium hydroxide and sodium hydrogen carbonate. We know from the second titration that for just the sodium hydroxide, it took 18. So the difference is obviously for the sodium hydrogen carbonate. So that means that the, there's 11.5 centimetres cubed needed to neutralise the sodium hydrogen carbonate. So that means that the moles of sulfuric acid to just neutralise the sodium hydrogen carbonate is 1.15 times 10 to the minus 3, concentration times volume. So therefore the moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate in the 25 cm cube is going to be double the moles of sulfuric acid, so 2.30 times 10 to the minus 3. But we want to know how many are in the original uh, 200 centimetres cubed, so we multiply that by 8, and that comes out at 0 0.0184 moles. Then the last part, we've just got to work out how many grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate are in the solution X, 200 cm cubed of X, three significant figures. So I've already worked out to the calculator value, mass is moles times MR, so we get 1.5456 grams, so therefore the three significant figures it's 1.55 grams. Question two now, so we've got this concentration and volume of sulfuric acid to neutralise, so that's 0 0.1 moles. And we're using 0.1 moles of base. Okay, so each of these options is 0.1 moles. So basically, we need a one-to-one -one mole ratio in the equation uh, between the acid and the base. And you can see that in option C, you have got a one-to-one -one ratio. So moving on to question three now, we've got um, a mixture of 100 cm cubed of sodium chloride and 100 cm cubed of sodium carbonate. They've both got the same concentration, 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. So if you work out the moles of sodium chloride first of all, so concentration times volume gives you 0 0.02 moles. Now, when that dissolves in the water, it's going to give the same number of moles of sodium ions. So there's going to be 0 0.02 moles of Na plus from the sodium chloride. So if we move on to the sodium carbonate now, we've got the same concentration and volume. So we've still got 0 0.02 moles of sodium carbonate, but sodium ions, there are two moles of sodium ions in one mole of sodium carbonate. So we'd have 0 0.04 moles of sodium ions from the sodium carbonate. So we've got a total of 0 0.06 moles of sodium ions in a total volume of um, 200 cm cubed. So when you do concentration is moles over volume, 0 0.06 moles of sodium ions in 0 0.2 of a decimeter cubed, 200 cm cubed, 
you get 0 0.3, which is option C. Question 4 now. Calculate the mass of borax crystals needed to make up that solution. So we need to work out how many moles and then convert that to grams. So moles is concentration times volume. So we want the solution to be 0 0.08 concentration and we want the volume to be 0 0.25 of a decimeter cubed, 20, 250 cm cubed. So that comes out at 0 0.02 moles. The MR of borax, well it's going to be two sodiums, four borons, seven oxygens and then ten lots of water. So we'll work out the mass of that bit and then to that add ten times eighteen. So the MR comes out at 381.2 and then obviously mass is moles times MR. So 0 0.02 times 381.2 gives 7.62 grams. Okay, so the last part of the question now. So the amount of moles of Na2B407 used in this titration, concentration times volume. So that's 0 0.08 times 0 0.0225, 1.80 times 10 to the minus 3. We'll use the mole ratio to get the moles of HCl, so we need a double to get the moles of HCl. So that's 3.60 times 10 to the minus 3. And finally, just to work out the concentration, we've, we know the moles. We know that they're in 25 cm cubed of HCl. So concentration, moles over volume, 3.60 times 10 to the minus 3. They're in 25 cm cubed, 0 0.025. So that comes out at 0 0.144 moles per decimeter cubed.